So today we're going over my two top ways to teach you how to hit topspin. If you want to learn how to hit topspin, you have to get the feel for it. And if you want to get the feel for it, then this video is for you. The first way to hit topspin is I want you to think that you are doing a wave. I want you to get your hand right now while you're watching this video and put your hand up in there and wave it like you just don't. No, I'm just kidding. Put your hand up in there real quick, straight ahead, right? And now all you're going to do is you're going to tilt your hand to the side. So again, I'm I'll start with my hand up, then I'm going to tilt my hand to the side. Now, once I tilt my hand to the side, I'm going to do a wave, okay? I'm going to do a wave. So again, hand up, I'm going to tilt it to the side, and then I'm going to wave down below. This is the motion of the topspin. A lot of players, they think in order to hit topspin that they have to turn their wrist. You never want to turn your wrist while you hit topspin. You need to wave, okay? You never want to turn your wrist. Again, so here we are. Rack it up, right? We're waving, palm forward. Now we're gonna tilt it to the side. Look, hands to the side. And now watch, we are going to wave towards the ground, okay? This is how you hit topspin. So by waving, that's gonna give you that feel, okay? That's gonna help you brush the back of the ball. And all that topspin is, is that you're coming under the ball. You're going from low to high on the ball, from south to north on the ball, okay? So you're going to go like this. So again, by waving sideways, that's going to help you to get top spin. Another big thing, and this is on our second way, but you can listen to the sound of the strings making contact with the ball. My coach used to go out with me, I think it was when I was eight years old. I would he tried to teach me how to learn topspin. And he said, graze the ball. You want to graze the ball. And he kept on saying it for like two or three lessons. I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Grazing the ball. I didn't understand that. I couldn't make the sound. But I want you to really think about the sound. If you're hitting topspin properly, you're not making a pop sound, right? You're not making a pop. You're hearing those strings. It's like a grating sound. I like to say it's like a cheese grater. You're cheese grating your ball, okay? You're brushing, getting friction on that ball. So again, make sure you don't go through the ball, make sure you go up on the ball and you're brushing the back of the ball. The next way, and I learned this way in this clinic that I'm taking with my daughter, it's a tennis clinic, it's a parent-child clinic, the instructor teaches the parent how to teach the child tennis. Now this is so funny because no one knows that I'm tennis with Tyler, right? He doesn't know. I'm like, but he thinks I'm a random person. He said I was good though, because he saw my Wilson racket. I kind of gave it away, but he teaches me. He's like, and it's funny. It's cool to hear a different coaches' perspective teaching tennis, right? I have my own perspective. And my favorite thing is learning from different coaches. So this guy's teaching me so many different things. For my four-year-old, then I'm conceptualizing in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to share with you guys. So here we are, okay? He says, with the kids, that what you want to do is you want to automatically teach them topspin, right? So what you want to do is you want to start out here, here, here. So he has all of our players do A, B, C. Once again, I want to do A. This is where I make contact. B is up here. And then C, I want my racket pointing to the right if I'm a right-handed player. Then I want it pointing up. And then I want to point it down. This is how you do topspin. Notice, just like A, B, C, it is just like the wave. This eliminates this nonsense. So if you can think again, A is out here, B is up here, and then C is down here, that's going to help you as well. Now, after you understand A, B, C, then you're going to go A, B, up, and then C. Again, so you're going to go A, B, up, and then C. By teaching yourself the proper swing path, that the strings are coming A, B on top of the ball, then C around, follow through, and then up, that's how you hit topspin. So again, try again the second one I just learned, A, B, C, pretty cool, try it. And number two, again, try that you're waving to the side, and that's gonna help you hit topspin as well. Make sure you listen to the sound. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you know any different ways to learn topspin, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube, make sure to check out my eBooks, the links are in the description, and I'll see you guys next time on court. Have a good one, and happy hitting.